Okay, mine is already edge base. Okay, this edge base. Edge base is on my that location. Okay, CD was uh, edge base is here. Okay, so so first we have to go to root. CD bin. I have to start the start H base start dot. So start. Okay, once it is started. We'll come back uh, and uh, we'll type it H base shell. Okay, I'll cover first what is uh, H base concept. Okay, so so here if I see the list, I can see my list of tables. Right, this is the tables list. Okay, so H base is like a no SQL database. Okay, HBase is a no SQL database. And uh, HBase having, I think last time I covered this master server and uh, region server. Okay. Region server. So master server, master server uh, basically uh, a master node and region server has multiple regions. Okay, region server has multiple regions okay and each region there is a um, man table or ss table like h file so h file is the disk copy of right disk copy of h base data okay on sdfs on sdfs okay. and mam table mam table is a memory copy okay Generally, when the data is coming, okay, so what is the architecture? When a client is submitting any request, right, for reading and writing the data from the H base table, so requests come to the master server, and master server is basically coordinating the Jukeeper. Here is the role of the Jukeeper is there, coordinating the Jukeeper. And Jukeeper is a coordination service for high availability. Jukeeper is coordination service. For high availability. If any region server is down, okay, so master will allocate the, the Jukeeper will give the another region server to the master, okay, and then master will communicate to the region server, okay. So coordination service for the high availability for any region server, region server is down, then to keep a, give another region server to the master server. And there is a one WAL right add log. Okay. So initially when uh, master server master server is writing temporary data, temporary data into wall. Okay. Okay. And and then the data will be shipped to the memory table. Okay. Then data will be shipped to memory table of 
memory mam table mam table is a part of region server okay mam table of region server region server and once memory is full memory is full then data is plus to to h file h file is a disk copy so h file is a disk copy of uh, data of HBase table and HBase is a column family database. What is the data modeling in the HBase? What is the data modeling in HBase? HBase data modeling. Okay. What is HBase data modeling? So HBase data modeling, you need to tell about HBase table structure, right? So you say HBase has, HBase is a column family database, column family database. Column family is nothing but column family is nothing but group of columns together, group of columns together is making one column family. Okay. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, each row has unique row ID, which is which is uniquely uniquely identifying the row in the H space. Identifying row in H space. Okay. And uh, there is a column qualifier is there. Column qualifier. Qualifier is is uh, locating locating a column in the H space column family. Locating uh, H base column in column family. Okay, so this is like a row and row and uh, columns and row and column get together is uh, making a uh, like a table. The records. Okay, so there are the various commands are there in the H base. Okay, I'll do one by one command. Okay, there are the different types of command categories are there. So DDL command, DML command, okay. So DDL, DML, okay. Data control language is there. Okay, so they have different, different commands are there. Okay, so HBase is only, okay. HBase is a HBase shell is there. This is called HBase shell, okay. HBase shell is, this is HBase shell. This HBase shell, we run the HBase command, okay? So HBase command, yeah, we are running on the HBase shell, okay? And one more thing is there in the NoSQL database. HBase is a NoSQL database. HBase is a NoSQL database. And it is following the cap theorem. It is following cap theorem. So what is the cap theorem? Consistency. Consistency, availability, partition, online. This is a cap theorem. Okay. So any particular NoSQL database should follow at least two, two, two property. Okay. Then it is called the that particular NoSQL database. So when I come to the Okay, this is architecture. Architecture, I already explained. So architecture, batch space architecture. We have master server, region server, zookeeper, H file, and write head log. Okay, and we have MAM table. So these are the component of the H base. Okay, so master server, region server. Okay, and region servers having the regions. And MAM store is there, MAM table, MAM store. And there is a store file is a H file. H file is a disk copy. Okay. And Jukeeper is a coordination service. Okay. So this is the H base architecture. So once we get the H base shell after the installation, H base shell. Then we can check the commands, right? 
so some version um, we can check the edge base status we can check edge base user we can check so there are the various commands are there so edge base shell so once we get the edge base shell so there are the different types of category commands are there status version okay who am i who is the user so we can see all these one Okay, so suppose I want to create uh, some table, create, like uh, I want to create a table. Something is a problem, right? I'm pressing single code, double code. Okay, I restart the machine. Okay. Yes. So edge base installation step is there in my document. You can follow that one.
create table command we have to give create table and column family so how many column family i want to create i will give the comma separated in single quote i will give the number of column family I will create a table. table is already there what is happening these messages are coming the table is created and we do list okay and we can do scan command we right now no data is there so it is showing empty okay so i can insert the data i can create data So we have to use put command. Put command is used to write the data to the HBase table. 
we have to use put and then we have to specify the column family row id so here is the row id is a row key is row id and then column family and this column family having the columns and column having the data okay so how the we will use the put command put command we will use put and then table name and then we will give the row id like first row i'm going to insert and i'll have to tell about which column family which column and what data i'm going to insert okay so i'm going to insert name is name name i'm going to insert okay so i change it table name is the amp3 okay i have another column in the same column family i have the column city so i will city and city name now again i will be i will be in the same row id this is for the same row id but the column family is different what is the column family i created uh, professional data so whatever your pop column family is there let's change here the column family professional data professional data and the column is the designation so this is a dynamic schema okay so if i want to add a new column okay for the row id 2 so it is not necessary i should add the name for the row id 2 okay for row id 2 i can i can enter only city or only name no city so suppose i say name and i say test another name okay and uh, another column is there so another one is uh, tally tally so I'm giving a value of Sally. Now I will copy this all statement. Okay. this is second third and this is the row id2 if i do a scan now if i do a scan emp only it will be showing me okay emp3 it, it will be showing me all the row ids and column family data so if you see that row id1 i have inserted two column family data but row id2 i inserted only personal data name okay not the uh, other 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 column same column family other data i didn't insert okay so this way i can if i want to get only particular row id i can give only particular row id so i can give two so i will get only that particular row id data excuse me <laughs> Doesn't that seem to be if you have up to 100 rows to put some more? Mm -hmm. So if you are not giving the 100 rows, right? Row ID you are not giving, so all 100 will come. And particular row ID only you want. So you will do the scan of that one. Okay. Why, why it is? Oh, scan, we cannot do this. Actually, we have to do with get command. Okay, get command will be uh, giving, uh, taking a, like table and row, row ID, and, and a specific column family also you can give. So you can see here, so for row ID two, it is giving me the data and, and particular column family data also you want to get, you can get it. So get means a specific data of column family, a specific okay. data of row ID, you can get. Hmm? Okay. But okay. How, about, how about input, uh, inputs created? Inserting the data itself, you have to insert it row, row by row. 
here this is uh, <clears throat> manual data insertion right we are not inserting the bulk data okay okay, okay. so okay. bulk data we can use some programmatic way okay there is a programmatic api we okay. can write it, it makes okay. sense yeah okay mm. So there, yeah, this is the all manual way. So manual way, we have to create row by row data. But if you want to go programmatic way, so this is a Java project. So we are creating a table object. We are getting just like a HDFS Java API, you remember, right? We can connect to the Hadoop file system and <clears throat> we can create a file, copy a file. So same like an H based table, we can create a H table object. And then there is a put class API is there, put P. So put class API, first I'm just giving a row ID. For this row ID, I want to say, okay, I want to write these column family data, this particular column family data. So I'm specifying the column family name, okay? So, so you have to write an entire program, okay? And you can make it more dynamic, this one. You can use uh, dynamic value. Instead of just giving hard-coded, you can use loop and then you can append data like that. Okay, like here, this is all hard coded, right? This row ID. Okay, suppose this row ID you want to generate automatically. So some for loop you use and row plus I in the for loop. Okay, so okay. automatically when the loop will yes. go, it will generate the row by row, right? Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Okay, so this way you can generate the bulk data. So this is H base, you can write the bulk data. It seems, okay? like, we, so, it seems like we need tutorial in, uh, in Java, some of us. Yeah, yeah, same. This is Java only. This is Java code only. This is HBase admin API. This is called HBase admin Java API. This is inserting data using Java API. Okay, so this API is given by this package. So you have to use, uh, you have to create a Maven project, right? You have to create a complete uh, pack project, right? You have to create a pop project, just like we done in the UDF, right? And you have to use a dependency jar and then you can do, okay? Suppose you want to uh, like uh, get, okay. So like we can, we can create a data, we can update data, we can read data. So for create and update, there are the same put function only, but how the put detect. So if any, something is there, already ID is there, it will update. If ID is not there, it will create. So put is versatile, put is like for both. It can create or it can update, okay. But depending on the, depending on the, uh, what is uh, value is present or value is not present. If it is not present, it will do the insert. If it is present, then it will do the update. So suppose if I give particular column family, uh, particular row ID I'm giving and table. So I will get all the data of my, that particular row ID. How many number of rows, how many number of column families for that particular row ID, okay? When I giving particular column family data in particular row ID, so how can I give it? So I will give my get command and table name row ID and column. I can specify like this. I can specify like this. So it will give me particular my column family, particular column. Okay. If I copy like this. comma so next option is i have to tell about my personal okay i can personal data actually it uh, came out right if any error comes so it should come out okay it uh, come out completely from the shell so personal data, right? It's not, it's saying unexpected identifier. So it should be a personal space data. My command is a get emp3 comma two is my row ID and column is personal data and this symbol you see it is equal and greater than sign
See, now it's coming. Personal data. Suppose for row ID one, I want to check. Okay. I want to check for the row ID one. So I will get this guy, this, this name. Okay. Because I'm giving name. If I give another column, different column, or more than one column also you can give. Okay. So you give here yeah, personal data is having. So you will be giving. So this is a command. This is a, this is for the get command. Okay. So you can get a specific row ID, a specific column families, column, you can get it. Okay. So this is a way for getting the data. You can read the data. Okay. If you do a scan only, a scan will get the whole table data. That is the difference between the scan and get. So a scan is you have to give the only table, right? So it will give you the whole data of your table. Okay. You can add some filter, right? Like you can say like only limit, limit is there. We can use limit. So we can get uh, uh, limit to get the data, how many number of rows I want, row IDs I want. Okay. And uh, there is a update data. Update data means like you want to modify the data, right? You want to, uh, update the existing data. Okay. So you have to use the same put only, but just you have to, when you are uh, changing something, so you have to give your table, then row ID, and then you change your column family and their data. Like this, you change. Okay. So here already row ID one, right? Row ID one data is there. Okay. So I want to modify. I want to modify, so I have to change here. This is wrong here. Here is a personal data. You are changing for row ID one, okay? For row ID one, you are changing for table EMP3. And now you are changing to city Delhi, okay? So you are changing city, you can paste. So it is not showing anything. It just updated, right? Okay. So now you do again, scan EMP3. Generally, it doesn't come out. I don't know. Some issue is actually it is. EMP3. Hmm. Now, if you see here, I change the, the city. Now the city is changed, right? Okay. So this is a put command. Okay. So put is used for insert or update both. Okay. So put is used for updating the data. Okay. Put is used also for updating data. Same command, like same, like a, there is a H base admin API is there, Java admin API. So you can do the put API same, like you can update the existing column families, column data, you can do, right? You can do. So this is a programmatic way. So programmatic way you can do, okay? And the other command is delete data. So delete the data, you can, and uh, drop the table, this is a dropping the table, deleting data, it is basically, you are delete, delete command, you are deleting the data. So delete table row ID. Up suppose I gave 
Okay. First of all, if I do delete, I say I want to delete table, I say, and then I say particular row ID because I added the row ID two, right? I want to delete only row ID two. So what is saying? Okay. Expected three and five. So row ID. It is expecting some column family to delete first. Delete all cell. Delete all command you have to use. If you want to delete a row ID, so you have to use delete all. Okay. See, only delete will not do. Only delete means you want to delete a particular column family data. Okay. Particular column family. So if you want to remove, delete a column family data, so you have to give personal data colon city, right? Only city I want to delete. I want to delete only city. I don't want to do the name column. Okay. Now if I do scan, EMP3 so, Okay, I given the row ID 2, but row ID 2 doesn't have the city, only name was there. Okay, so I do name. Name column fam, name column I want to delete. Okay. Now I do scan. So row ID two is removed, right? Row ID two has only one column family. So when I'm removing the column family, my data is removed. Okay. So by delete, now I say row ID one. Okay. And I say, I want to personal data city. I want to delete city. Okay, now I check scan. So I'm not able to, my new value is deleted. In the column family one, my old value is coming, right? My new value is deleted. Okay. But this one is not deleted. City. Okay, it's still one more value is there. That is the reason it is not deleted. So if I use delete all, like I want to remove complete. Okay. So personal data city now. Now it should not come. Now this is not coming. City is not coming. So city is gone. So delete all if I do and I say professional data. Professional data and I say salary. So salary is not there. Okay. And if I do delete all and I don't give the any column family, so it will delete the complete row ID. All column families will be deleted in one shot. Okay. So if I do scan, now no data will be there. Okay, so this way we can delete the data. Okay. How to drop table? So drop table is like a drop command is there. So we can drop the table. So, but before dropping the table, we have to make it the disable, then it will do. So if I write it like this, drop EMP3. It is saying table is enabled. First, disable it. So, disable command is there EMP3. Okay, now, now we drop command EMP3. It's a security, right? Like we cannot drop in a one go. Okay, we have to disable the table.
if I do a scan EMP3 now after dropping the table. So now it's saying unknown table, right? The table is dropped. Okay. Okay, so this this all commands are there. Okay, so what else command are left? One command is there, exist command. Exist command is used to check whether the table exists or not. It will return true or false. Okay. And uh, this the command is just for the checking the existence. Suppose I'm going to drop some table, but I don't know whether the table is there or not. So I can check it using exist. Okay. I can use EMP3. Okay. Will not work. Okay, so this command you can do practice. Okay, if you are getting any difficulty in installation, let me know. Okay, installation document, uh, the installation steps are there. Okay, you follow that one and you have to install in the user local H base. So, user local directory, you have to install it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Which one is user local? This H base you install in the user local directory slash usr slash local slash okay. HBase. okay in the document it's there right okay hbase installation okay okay thank you